Is it time to buy or sell Ford stock? In this video, we will explore Ford in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 17th of September, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more thorough analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analyses. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since the 17th of September, 2024, our system has identified Ford as a buy candidate, assigning it a score of 1.41. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. We will continue to monitor this assessment to see how it develops in the days ahead. The stock is currently situated in the midst of a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating further potential declines within this trend. The present three-month trend forecasts a possible change of negative 18.92% over the next three months, with expected returns ranging from negative 38.32% to negative 6.54%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it predicts a change of 2.04% over the next year, with potential returns between negative 8.77% and positive 36.67%. This corresponds to a price range of approximately $9.94 to $14.90 after one year. Our latest daily update for Ford includes the headline, Ford Stock Upgraded to Buy Candidate. The Ford stock price rose by nearly 1% on the last trading day, which was Tuesday, the 17th of September, 2024 moving from $10.80 to $10.90. This marks five consecutive days of gains. It will be interesting to see if this upward trend continues or if the stock takes a brief pause in the coming days. During the last trading session, the stock fluctuated by nearly 3%, reaching a low of $10.82 and a high of $11.14. The price has increased in six out of the last 10 days, although it remains down by just under 1% for this period. Trading volume also surged on the last day alongside the price increase, which is a positive technical indicator. In total, 17 million more shares were traded compared to the previous day, with a total of 49 million shares exchanging hands for approximately $532 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $14.85, while the lowest was $9.49. Currently, the price is 26.6%, or $3.95, below the 52-week high, and 57.87%, or $14.97, below the all-time high reached on the 13th of January, 2022, when the price peaked at $25.87. Recent developments surrounding Ford Motor Company are generating significant potential implications for its stock price. On the 17th of September, 2024, Ford was reported to be involved in several class action lawsuits related to alleged securities law violations. Investors who experienced losses during the specified class period are being encouraged to join these actions, which are spearheaded by multiple law firms. Such legal entanglements often create uncertainty around a company's future performance and financial stability. In the short term, these lawsuits could lead to increased volatility in Ford stock as investors digest the potential ramifications. Concerns over financial repercussions and regulatory scrutiny may dampen investor sentiment, likely exerting downward pressure on the stock price. On the other hand, Ford's recent performance showed a slight uptick, closing at $10.90 with a gain of 0.93%, 
indicating some resilience in the face of mounting legal challenges. In the long term, the outcome of these legal issues could significantly affect Ford's operational integrity and investor confidence. If the company successfully mitigates the impact of these lawsuits, it could pave the way for recovery in stock prices as investor sentiment stabilizes. Conversely, unfavorable rulings may lead to financial liabilities and stricter compliance requirements, overshadowing operational advancements and eroding shareholder value. Overall, these developments necessitate close monitoring as they unfold. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, the 22nd of August, 2024, it was reported that Bank of America Securities assigned F a buy rating with a hold action. On Wednesday, the 7th of August, 2024, Goldman Sachs assigned F a neutral rating with a hold action. On Thursday, the 25th of July, 2024, Morgan Stanley assigned F an overweight rating with a hold action. On Monday, the 22nd of July, 2024, RBC Capital assigned F a sector perform rating with a hold action. On Tuesday, the 16th of July, 2024, Barclays assigned F an overweight rating with a hold action. Analysts have assigned Ford stock an overall neutral rating. The price-to-earnings ratio is also considered neutral, as is the price-to-book ratio. In terms of return on investment, analysts maintain a neutral stance on the stock. The following signals have been identified for Ford. The Ford stock exhibits buy signals from both short- and long-term moving averages, which suggests a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal indicated by the relationship between these averages, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term average. In the event of downward corrections, support will be found at levels of $10.63 and $10.59. A drop below either of these thresholds would trigger sell signals. Notably, volume is increasing alongside the price, which is regarded as a favorable technical indicator. However, some negative signals have also been detected, which may impact short-term developments. A sell signal emerged from a pivot top point on Friday, August 23, 2024, and the stock has since decreased by 3.28%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. On Thursday, September 12, 2024, the stock experienced a golden star signal in the short-term chart. A golden star signal occurs when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and the price line align in a unique combination. This event is quite rare and is often followed by significant and sustained gains for the stock in question. Here are some additional signals that may pique your interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots noted a sell signal 17 days ago. Bollinger Bands registered a buy signal 46 days ago. Short-term moving average signaled a buy four days ago. Long-term moving average also signaled a buy four days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages signaled a buy two days ago. Observing the 12-month chart reveals short moving average issued a buy signal two days ago. The long-term moving average indicated a sell signal 39 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages signaled a buy 30 days ago. For more signals, remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's discuss support, risk, and stop loss for Ford. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $10.03 and $9.78. There is always a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level. If this level is broken, the stock may then fall to the next available support level. In this case, Ford has support just below today's level at $10.03. If this is breached, the next support levels from accumulated volume will be at $9.78 and $9.71. This stock typically trades at a good volume and with minor daily fluctuations, the associated risk is considered to be low. Over the last day, 
the stock fluctuated by 315 cents, which is 2.91%, between its high and low. During the past week, the stock exhibited an average daily volatility of 2.58%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Ford, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, commonly known as the P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. A relatively low P-E ratio might indicate a low expectation for the company's future performance or suggests that the stock is undervalued, which could present a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 24th of October, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are set at five-tenths of a dollar. Keep a close watch on these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Ford. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Ford is at $11.16. If you do not currently own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this might be an opportunity to think about swing trading. On the downside, Ford faces its first support level at $10.03. If this support level remains intact, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. The combined average rating for Ford, as assessed by various analysts, is neutral. Now, let's review some recent insider trades. On the 3rd of September, 2024, Thornton John L. made an insider purchase of 5,067 shares of Ford stock units. On the same day, Hellman William W. conducted an insider purchase of 692 shares of Ford stock units. Also on the 3rd of September, 2024, Weymeyer John B. purchased 2,185 shares of Ford stock units. Additionally, on that day, Weymeyer John B. bought 380 shares of Ford stock units. Finally, on the 3rd of September, 2024, Weinberg John S. made an insider purchase of 2,034 shares of Ford stock units. Analyzing the most recent 100 insider trades, we find the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 23.112. Overall, insiders have acquired 3,827,148 shares while selling 2,301,629 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $10.38, reflecting a decrease of 4.78%. This stock exhibits low daily movements, which translates to a lower risk for investors. Additionally, there is a sell signal that emerged from a pivot top identified 30 days ago. Is Ford stock a good buy? Several short-term indicators are showing positivity. Despite the stock currently being in a downward trend, we believe this level presents a potential buying opportunity, as there is a reasonable chance for the stock to perform well in the near future. We have upgraded our analysis for this stock since our last evaluation, moving from a hold or accumulate recommendation to a buy candidate. After assessing the volatility and movements from the most recent trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, the 18th of September, we anticipate Ford will open at approximately $0.05 cents and begin trading at $10.95. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decisions solely on information from stockinvest.us. By using this information, you acknowledge that you are responsible for your own investment choices. This is our current perspective on the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please comment below and share your insights. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.